What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Things are a little bit different around here. Got a different hair color. I got my eyes matching my forehead. Everything's a little mixed up and a little bit different. Things are going to be changing around here all for the better. And as for one of those changes from now on, I'm going to add this little thumbnail right here. I want this to be a space where everyone can feel like they can be here. We all got to deal with our own stuff. You deal with stuff in your own way. I'm telling you, that is perfectly okay. There is a quote I found out about years ago that becomes more true and true every single day. To define is to limit. Expanding our horizons, expanding the everlasting aesthetic of femininity. If you do not know anything about me, my name is Demetria, and I'm here to make you the long, cool woman femme that you want to be. So I do have Instagram and I do have Facebook. So be sure you're following me there for the future. And if you like videos like this, be sure to give it a like and subscribe just so maybe I know. Fulfill my ego. Just please do it. I'm going to teach you how to dress stylish, femme, and comfortable in the winter. Yes, you can be all three of those things at once. First tip I'm going to give you is effort. What do I exactly mean by this? Well, does this sound familiar to you? You start pampering yourself. You've come out early. You start presenting yourself as the she queen that you know you are and starts to get cold, starts to get grimy and dirty out and you're stuck inside. That just kind of killed the whole fun of that. Plus with quarantine being stuck inside all the time and when you are out, you're wearing a mask that just ruins all the effort of half of your makeup. These are trying times. Everything is an expression. What I'm getting to is you feel how you look. And winter is a very easy time to feel sloppy and lazy and kind of fat. I'm telling you, it doesn't got to be this way. Every season has its own style. Every season has its own desire. This can happen in winter. You just got to put your mind to it. You should find therapy, enjoyment and purpose in styling your own damn self. And I can fully sympathize with the financial stress of December, but trust me, your dysphoria and chic desire will thank you later. Firstly, what I will tell you does not concern fashion, but it does concern presentation and your health. It's likely in your best interest to switch to a cream moisturizer. You're going to thank me later by the end of this. Your skin likely adjusts to your weather. So in very humid environments, you're likely very oily. And then in very dry environments, well, you're dry. So as winter is coming up, if you use a lotion or some sort of gel or something that is water based, that's not going to be enough. Switch to a cream and a lot of moisturizer and skincare brands kind of have the same product for drier skin, as in they switch it to sort of a creamy substance because a cream is thicker and it's adjusted to be like, hey, this all is going to sink in. Whereas with a lotion in winter, it sucks it up super quick. Like it's just not enough. So you'll thank me later. What you also want to do, this is a tip that will be revolutionary to you. You're going to be wanting to layer. So a lot of styling yourself and keeping warm in winter deals with multiple layers over and over and over. And what you're going to want to do as your very first base layer is have some tights, your bottom, and then a skin tight top, possibly a little turtleneck, skin tight sleeves, not lace before you put anything else on because what that does is it acts like a thermal layer anything you put on is instantly going to be warmer so i mean you put on some jeans if you don't got the tights underneath those jeans are not going to keep you warm not for a second that is not what jeans are meant to do if this is your first winter with 
a shaven body? You'll thank me later. What this also does is it adds that extra layer to your cold feet because you likely are gonna be wearing some nice thick socks under your footwear. Also, we're gonna be talking about a good investment. The first thing that pops out to people is your shoes. That is massive, massive. It's very easy to just slip on those five-year-old bulky winter boots that you have and call it a day. I don't feel sophisticated. I don't like walking into my bank and going, this is what I want. You better do it. I look bulky like Marshmallow Man. If you see any influencer and they're talking about dressing for winter, the objective is to not look like the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. And with thick, bulky moon boots, that is not something you will avoid. Now, if we're talking about chic and we're talking about femme, when you pick out a pair of boots, you're likely gonna want something that slims, not something bulky. We want something that slims at your calves, your shin, to your ankles, and to your feet. That is instant femme. And we're talking heels too. You want something that gives that extra girl power, that heel, that's what you want. But be wise with your heel. This is footwear that you still want to be durable. Don't go with a stiletto that just can't manage its way through the mud, slush, snow. And when the sidewalk is covered, it's very easy for that heel to, you're stuck there. <laughs> so, Avoid the stiletto. Grab something that is more of a thick square heel or maybe a wedge heel might be better for you. Just pick something that will be durable as well. What you also want to do is give them some bright colors during the winter because it's easy to fit in and conform to that drab, boring atmosphere. Stand out, whether it be through your coat choices, through your makeup, or through your accessories. Pick a scarf, handbag, or jewelry that gives that nice extra shine, something that is bright white like the winter itself, the beautiful part of winter, or pick something nice, lush, and red, something nice and pretty. Just because the season is drab doesn't mean you gotta be. The thing about winter is it lives for dark makeup. This is, I, I kind of, my, my advice is you don't kind of want to start off with this sort of look. I don't even know if I got the X's right, okay? This, that was, this was literally the first time I tried doing this. What I'm getting at is with dark makeup, the truth is like a lot of guys have um, either kind of partially hooded or um, deep set eyes. And when you work with dark makeup, first of all, dark makeup tends to age you um, unflatteringly. And when you have deep set eyes, um, it kind of enforces that deep satinness. But with winter, do what you want, okay? Go with the nice dark lipstick. Be that goth girl that you want to be. So be dark but also be bright. Add some color, know your balance. All right, you wanna talk investments. <sighs> you need a coat. And I don't just mean the skiing coat with a zipper. Think you can do a little bit better than that. Firstly, make sure when you get a coat, make sure it fits well. It's easy to say that, but I'll explain to you what I mean. So when you try on a coat in the store, make sure that the arm region, your little bicep region and little elbow, kind of mid forearm zone, make sure you can move ably and comfortably because if you cannot if it's too tight there by your back as well imagine what that's going to be like with excessive layers on top of that this is very very important make sure you're comfortable and you fit well you don't want to be the next bodybuilder who can't scratch his back universally hemlines at the knee or the mid calf are flattering you can't get around that. You can play around with certain hemlines. If you pick one of those, you're gonna find some look and some clothes that match and go together that are gonna work for you. Also, get a 
form-fitting coat and that extra femme to your winter look. Adding a belt anywhere, you can pick any one. It doesn't have to come even with the coat, as long as it kind of suits it. That adds a wild difference to how you look and gets rid of that marshmallow man quality. And when I was talking about zippers, that's a little cash, okay? What we want to get are buttons. So cute, so big and round. It just sums you up as a whole. I'm not saying you're fat, but you're round. But buttons add that extra detail down your entire body. That is the detail you never want to miss. If you can, might be best to invest in a wool skirt. So the reason I would say this is because it's very, very warm. It's ultra warm. The only thing is, it's more pricey, but if you find a coat you're living for that is versatile and goes with a ton of looks, it might be best for you to invest in it. Especially wool coats, they're gonna last you long, long time. Like I said previously, turtlenecks are your friend. They've kind of gone in and out of popularity ever since they've been around. Late 50s, 60s, they were a thing, came back in the 90s, and they're kind of back now. You should know about them. They add that extra warmth to your neck, and on top of the scarf, that's perfect. You're gonna wanna invest in a blanket scarf. So what is a blanket scarf, you may ask? It's massive. It's huge. Reason being why we call it kind of a blanket. Scarves are chic, they're suave, and they complete any winter look that you choose. And the reason I go with a blanket scarf for a feminine, girly look, you want stuff that adds volume, okay? Blanket scarves are gonna work with that because anything here kind of minimizes your face and makes you look small and petite. Last tip I'm gonna give you is go thick with your jewelry. It's kind of a happy medium in general with jewelry. If you go kind of too thick in general, you can look kind of masculine, but if you go ultra thin and dainty, it might make you look a little big. Find that happy medium. In winter, you might get lost in the layers and trying to keep warm, but pay attention to your jewelry. Put some on your sleeve over certain tops. If you got some big like 60s style, 50s style earrings that you want to hang on your little scarf, that's gonna be perfect for you. Add that extra shine to a winter that doesn't wanna give you that shine. There you go. I have prepped you for every single thing you need to know about winter looking femme, chic, and comfortable plus warm in the months to come. And you know, I follow my own advice because I'm dressed in lace. Here's the video the algorithm thinks is gonna work better for you. And here is my previous video. Thanks so much for all your support. I hope this video helped you and subscribe to stay on this lovely journey to freedom and femininity.